Timing is everything when shopping for a new or used car. Hello there auto enthusiasts and savvy car shoppers. Welcome back to the Homework Guide channel, your ultimate guide to navigating the car market. Today we're revving up to talk about something that can make or break your car shopping experience. Timing. I'm your host Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and right across from me is the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal, our team's master negotiator. Thank you, Kevin. Friends, if you're on the hunt for that perfect ride, you might be wondering if there's a best time to buy a car. I can tell you there most definitely is, and without exception, I use a six-step process to capitalize on the element of timing in every car deal I've ever done. You should never neglect to use the timing outline we share today. Well, fasten your seatbelts because we're about to take a deep dive into the importance of timing in car shopping. From end of month and end of year sales to new model releases and even that any time of the month deal, We'll explore insider secrets from people who share my negotiating skill set, and it could save you thousands. We'll also touch on why timing isn't just about when you should buy, but when you should start looking. Yeah. Trust me when I say timing is everything, and after this video, you'll be equipped to hit the dealership lot at the most opportune time for you. So stay tuned, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on those notifications. You don't want to miss the valuable insights that could drive you straight to the best deal around. Let's shift into gear and start the engine on this exciting topic. We can't say this enough, the timeline for starting your car shopping can depend on many various factors. Here's a general six-step guideline to help you plan, used by our master negotiator, the amazing Elizabeth. In total, you need 30 to 45 days to efficiently exercise all six parts of this plan. First up is the research phase, something you should start about 30 to 45 days before you need to purchase your vehicle. Begin by researching different makes and models to find out which car will best suit your needs. Consider factors like fuel efficiency, reliability, size, and your budget. During this phase, also start to familiarize yourself with the prices of different cars. Second is the budgeting and financing step which should simultaneously start 30 to 45 days before purchase. You can launch these first two steps at the same time. Determine how much you can afford to spend, whether you need financing or not, and what kind of loan terms you qualify for. If you plan to pay cash, know exactly how much money you have to work with and how you'll pay when the time comes. If you're financing, this is the time frame where you need to talk to your own bank or credit union too. It's good to get pre-approved for a loan so you know exactly what price you are shooting for when you start to engage with dealers. Third is the all important market watch. Usually I get this started one month before making a purchase. Keeping an eye out on the market for the models you're interested in is very important, especially if you're looking for a used car. Shop vehicles and their prices and see what's out there. If dealers in your area still have unreasonable prices, expand your search beyond your state lines. This will help you understand the pricing trends and overall availability of the vehicle you want. Fourth comes the test driving and vehicle inspection part. Two to four weeks before purchase, once you've narrowed down your choices, start test driving. You must always test drive any car you're buying. But remember that test driving is a step which should always stand on its own. Don't ever agree to sit down during the test driving phase to go over the numbers like dealers want you to do. If you do, you're denying yourself some much needed leverage. If you're buying used, this is also a great time to arrange for a vehicle inspection by a professional mechanic so you know if you should be considering the vehicle in the first place. Step five gets to a more exciting part, negotiation phase. Start this remotely one to two weeks before purchase. After you've decided on the car, start the negotiation process. This can take anywhere from a few days to a couple weeks, depending on how back and forth negotiations are going. Reach out to multiple dealers. You'll generally find greater response rates if you add that you'll be buying within the next few weeks to your message. It's important that they know you're a serious buyer. Exactly. Also state that you are in contact with other dealers and you're on the hunt for the dealer who wants your business the most. If you haven't found dealers who will help you or respond to you, you haven't contacted enough dealers. It's that simple. There's always a hungry one or two out there. You just have to find them. Once you get a bite, use that feedback to go back to the other dealers a second time and explain the offer you have, including those who didn't respond initially. Tell them that they must match or beat your offer to be considered. Having this info in hand is very critical because any other dealer can recognize that the offer from another dealer is real and reasonable. The fact that they now know you aren't making stuff up is important. After years of doing this, I can tell you that if any one dealer can do it, multiple other dealers can do it too. Exactly. And the beauty of negotiating this way is that you're letting the dealers do the negotiating work for you. 
They will help you bring the price down and eliminate fees from other dealers. Think of this process more like an auction. You get an offer and then you give another dealer a chance to beat it. Just like a good auctioneer, you go back to the others who were in the bidding for your business in the beginning and give them a chance to counter offer with an even better price. If you negotiate this way, it's very non-confrontational and even you shoppers who are slightly timid about this can easily handle it. Easily, such important stuff. Step number six, finalizing the deal and making the purchase. Start roughly one week before the actual purchase. Once the price is agreed upon, you'll need to finalize the paperwork, secure insurance, and complete your financing deals if you plan to get a loan. Now, what I'm about to say is very important, so pay special attention. This is the only time you'll consider going back to the dealership and sitting down. But you will not go in and sit down with them until they've sent their final offer to you in writing ahead of time. At this point, you're in the driver's seat now and fully in control of what comes next. There's still a few things to concentrate on, and that includes making sure your deal is drawn up on your car contract exactly like it says on the written offer in your hand. Take the time to read and reread the contract before you sign it in finance. You don't want them sliding things past you, something finance offices are especially good at. Take your time making the finance officer fix anything that isn't right, and only then should you sign everything. Now that you've signed out, you're ready to drive home your new car. If you need a car urgently, this six-step process can be accelerated a little, but it's generally recommended that you take your time, especially during the research phase, to ensure you make a well-informed decision. By the way, if you have a trade, back in the beginning, you can start getting offers from dealers and then take the time to see our show, Get the Book Value of Your Own Car. Tons of great ideas in there for how to establish the value of your trade. Remember, buying a car is a significant investment and rushing the process can sometimes lead to overlooking important details and making you impatient enough to pull the trigger prematurely. This spells disaster every time. By the way, this entire process we've shared today will be presented in Chapter 14 of our upcoming Car Buyer's Manual. So much dynamite info coming in this book. Friends, if you feel you lack the skills to exercise this timing outline we just presented to you and you need help finding and purchasing a vehicle that's right for you, just join our channel as a member today and get direct help and involvement from me or Kevin. We will help you walk through it. We don't want you to get burned and we promise with our help you won't. It's extremely easy to join. Just hit the little join button right below the video and select a package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding how to join, just send me a text at 701-441-3399 and I'll text you a join link. For the direct help that you need, get the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99, which offers direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special email dedicated to members. The next option is the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. You should also know that you can start out at the consults level and then drop back to a lower package after you buy your vehicle if you'd like to continue to support what we do here at the Homework Guy. This consults package gives regular text message contact with both me and Kevin, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. Don't be surprised if Kevin calls you to discuss your car buying plans directly. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk and limited expense. I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page. I'd like to get a text message from any member at any level so I can personally welcome you aboard. And although it's not listed as a benefit for any of the packages, I have been personally calling several members already. As many of the members have said, the value of the membership was well worth it with just one phone call. Today's show was an example of some of the high quality content you'll find in our book designed to help car buyers. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. Just hit the join button below the video to sign up today. And as Liz said, you can just send her a text and she will send you the link. Again, that contact number is 701-441-3399. I also want to remind our regular viewers about the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. We improve on our website regularly. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you've just became a new member on our channel, we've really enjoyed working with you. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've we got to go. go.